ako nga pala si Six ang maglalapit palalo sa kasagutan na inyong hinahanap. Simulan na natin ang pakikinig. Mm -hmm. However, if you understand that time is also an illusion, it's something that you can use as a tool, mm -hmm. but if you also understand that it's an illusion, then you can actually master time and you can, you can maximize what you're doing on this planet. Because if you go any high, in, in all the higher dimensions, you know, we're in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, so and all the way up. For the layman that don't understand mm -hmm. what being in the third dimension means, can you give us a breakdown? Okay, sure. So if you draw a line on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. that's the first dimension. If you then connect those lines and, and uh, create a house on a piece of paper, that's a two-dimensional structure, or you can move that into a computer. Anything you see in a computer that looks 3D is actually 2D. All right, so, and because we're in the third, we can see down into 2D, we can see all the way down, obviously, into 1D, and we can manipulate those dimensions from our higher selves. Now, if you, if, now there are beings in fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensions. There's be people above us. Now, because of that, they see us and they recognize the past, present, and future operating all at the same time. Everything's happening at once. Right. There is no separation between the past, present, and the future. The arrow doesn't exist. Because they're higher than us, they can look down into the third, and they can see into what we're doing. So, so who are Hulk before? Hulk? Yeah. We, hey, we, <laughs> hey, 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 we got to unpack a little bit. We got to <laughs> unpack. Okay. It's high level, but I yeah. want to make sure that they the people follow. can follow along with yeah. it. So, you know, talking about third dimension, right? You know, it's a uh, ants are not third dimensional beings, right? Because mm -hmm. they can't see upward, right? They're not uh, horizontal, you understand me? Uh, they exist on a plane where they're looking forward. Right? So when you're moving about the rest of the world that is higher up to them, they have no access to that, no perspective on that whatsoever. You understand me? For them, everything is straight and in front of them. For human beings, we have the ability to look upward, to look inward, to look outward, to look around, yeah. right? So therefore, we're connected into different angles, different perspectives, and different dimensions. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand me? And then what I wanted to get though with next though, so let's say we got the third dimension, mm -hmm. right? Now we're talking about the fourth dimension. What is the fourth dimension? The fourth dimension is something called a tesseract. Mm -hmm. And if you go into the ancient text, it's Metatron's cube. Meta, M-E-T-A, Meta. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah, you know, meta. the Metaverse, right? They got that from Metatron's cube. Uh, it's a fourth dimensional substructure. Now, this fourth dimension is really something called a quasi-crystal. And this quasi-crystal in the fourth dimension, it casts a shadow. And the shadow that it casts, it creates the realm that we're living in here. We're living in a shadow of a higher dimension. That shadow creates a third dimension. It actually creates a fractal of it, creates this fractal holographic matrix that we're actually maneuvering in in the third dimension right now. So would the, the fourth dimension be considered a dimension of time? Uh, you can address a fourth dimension of time, like Albert Einstein was saying, if you're just looking at a third plus a fourth being the arrow. Mm -hmm. But when you
you actually move up into another dimension, we now know, now know in quantum physics that there is actually a fourth dimension. So all dimensions are in 90 degree angles of each other. And according to uh, quantum theory right now, we're really anticipating that there's at least 11 dimensions or otherwise the universe would collapse. So there really is truly a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way up, not just the arrow of time. That's just something extra. Mm -hmm. They try to make it make sense back then by saying the fourth dimension is time, but time is actually not a dimension at all. Mm. So now that's, that's a very interesting, because it's a lot that I'm sure that everybody's like, all right, I thought I was smart, <laughs> and then I tried to keep up, yeah. and then I got left behind. Right. You understand me? And what I want, I want to bring people up to speed. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Um, and the ideas in correlation to the analogy of how we're moving as a collective human species, specifically with technology, right? Yeah. Because I think it can be um, connected to, you know, uh, cellular technology, right? Mm -hmm. Going from 3G to 4G. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, you know, going from 3G to 4G to 5G which allows us to be able to do different things that we normally weren't able to do that weren't possible, yeah. right? You know, let's say you got 3G phones, it's, it's hell, you make better, faster calls, you understand me, yeah. connected. Then you get the 4G and you're talking mm -hmm. about now applications and streaming, right? And Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. right? Being able to connect within systems and the internet of things. And then 5G mm -hmm. allowing completely new systems of possibility. And this was where I think a lot of people missed the point in 2020 when everybody was going through the craze of yeah. whether 5G was killing them or not. It was more so what was 5G going to do, mm -hmm. right? So the NFTs and the Web3, right? And you're talking about, you know, um, AR, VR, spatial reality, all these yeah. different things are not possible unless you have 5G yeah. being in connection. So it was representing a new world being produced outward. and. Yeah. It wasn't just an accident that NFTs came after the pandemic right. and this technology came yeah. after. <laughs> there was something happening at that same point in time that mm -hmm. for me, it was entering into a new phase of the world, a new dimension, a new speed. Yeah. Right. And that speed, you know, can be known as time, if you will. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people without that ability to process at a high level right yeah. like you got bandwidth you got landline speed you got wi-fi speed you got 5g mm -hmm. speed you get left behind yeah so everything seems that it's moving fast but that's only because you're not moving as fast right everything stands still when you're moving at the same speed yeah you understand me and so what i've always tried to do is keep people up to speed yeah. where we at in right. the dimension that we're currently in or a little bit above so you can be ahead of your time as a visionary yeah because the fastest speed is the mind mm -hmm. you understand me being able to travel in your thought yeah right that can travel you that can take you into time that can take you ahead of time if you will oh yeah but the ideas of time itself i love the, the concept that it being an illusion because you know even the era with time is connected to language yeah. right mm -hmm. that I wrote in my book about how when we speak in the English language, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very uh, uh, future tense reference, mm -hmm. right? So we're always referencing the future as we speak. Mm -hmm. I will be there. I'm going to do this. Yeah. And we have so many different phrases within the language. We're always pushing ourselves, not connecting to the present, yeah. but at a later point in day and time. Right. You understand me? And I think that learning to be present connects us to the power that we have in control over. Yeah. And then once you have that power, then you know how to create seeds that can control the rest of time. Mm -hmm. But um, you said something about beings, yeah. right? Now, we always look at ourselves as a uh, 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 people, but then when we talk about people, you're talking about human beings, yeah. right? The being part is not something that the average person understands, Yeah. right? And then when you're saying that there are other beings, yeah. who are these other beings? 